hi guys i'm back with a, another well with another with my first hair how to and i'm gonna be talking about the basket weave so i'm gonna basket weave i'm gonna show you how to basket weave your hair the whole going all the way back and as you can see my hair is not that long it's barely shoulder length and um so I had to play with it a little bit. Um, it was actually really easy and I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm also gonna introduce you to um, one trick that I use and I'm also gonna introduce you to um, the gel that I use to twist my hair with. So first I'm gonna do the hair gel. And this is the African Formula Super Grow Hair Gel. I love this stuff. I was actually introduced um, to this by a friend who is extremely sensitive to a lot of the chemicals that are found in beauty products. And one of the things that I like about this gel is that it doesn't have any petroleum, no mineral oil, um, no parabens, no thing, any, nothing like that. And um, so I was really happy to be introduced to this product. So I'm just going to read the first three or four ingredients for you because um, if you didn't know I'm gonna tell you that the first couple of ingredients in any product food anything those are um, really important products because uh, usually the first couple of uh, ingredients in anything is what the product is mainly made out of okay so the first three or four products is purified water wild bee honey coconut oil, West African shea butter, and virgin olive oil. And I mean, it just goes on. It has so many different wonderful things. Basil, safflower, and peach oils, extract of peach leaves, birch, calendula blossoms. So it just has lots of uh, really good ingredients. Um, this jar will run you about $26. Um, this is a 16 ounce size. You can start off small. They have, I believe, I believe the, the smallest, the smallest size is eight ounces, and that's about $8.99 or $7.99, depending on where you get it from. So that's the uh, Super Grow hair gel, African formula. Oh, another thing to point out is if you're gonna if you're interested in the product, make sure you get a good look. Because they recently raised the price on this, um, I guess because of the economy, I'm not really sure why, but um, they recently raised the price on it and there were like other like imposter products that looked just like this. So, and then they had mineral oil and like some other kind of wax stuff and I'm like, what is this? This is so not what I want. So make sure you're careful and you read um, about the different things that you're going to buy. Okay, so now we're gonna do the basket weave, and I'm really excited because you know Cheska Lee and Foreign Seven One Five, you guys have me all pumped up. And thank you for everyone who um, said that my comments were nice and that they liked my hair and everything like that. And I'm gonna jump right into the hair. Okay, so as you can see, my hair is well. You may not be able to see because the color is fading. But it's actually, well, it was hot pink on the top. And so what you're going to do is you're going to just pull all your hair with your fingers, run your fingers through your hair, and pull everything to the back. Now what you're going to do is you're going to start in the center of your head, okay? So you're going to take the first, one, two, three. You're going to take about, hmm. You're going to take about four locks on each side, okay? And you want to make sure that they come together and they're not crooked. Like, they're, make sure that they're not, um, you don't want them to be, like, tied together and not flat. Like, you don't want them to look twisted like that one. You want them to be flat.
okay because I've noticed that it just makes the hairdo look a whole lot neater so now what you're going to do is you're going to crisscross these two pieces so I'm going to go this way okay so now the the locks that I have on top right I have these on top so I'm going to take these these locks on top came from this side so I'm going to make sure that I take my next piece my next couple of pieces from this side because I want to overlap the hair okay so you want to overlap it so you really get that weaved um, basket look now I'm going to go straight up and I'm taking these are about five or six locks so I'm gonna take those and I'm gonna go across once again okay and at this point I'm not using any pins I'm sorry about that um the only thing that you would need for this hairstyle are pins okay and um, I'm using I'm gonna be using the straight the straight pins. sorry about that that I didn't mention that before I'm an amateur I'm just getting it okay so we just came across from this side so now we're gonna go back and you once again you're taking only about maybe six or seven locks depending on how thick yours are mine are not that thick they're pretty thin so you're gonna go across again and then you're gonna do it again I hope you guys can see that you just keep going back and forth literally like you're weaving a basket and you're taking the locks from the outside so you're taking the locks out here you're not taking the locks from inside from in here you're taking the locks from out here and out here and you're taking five and six of them at a time and you're just going to keep overlapping keep overlapping and sometimes you have to be careful because it'll come out lopsided and I mean I think that it, I don't think it looks bad but if you're a perfectionist like I know a lot of you guys are, then you may want to keep note of that to keep your locks in the center. Keep your to try to keep your um crisscrosses in the center. So now any of you whose hair is short like mine. <laughs> You're gonna wanna. You're gonna have to use um, clips. So I'm gonna stop here because this is how I wore my hair to school today. It was so cute. But I'm taking a pen and I'm just gonna pin. Let me see. So I'm, see, make sure you guys can see. So you're gonna pin. where you stopped sorry and you can kind of feel with your fingers where you may need a pen or two because you know how you have those little itty bitty locks and they're like fighting you because they don't want to go in and they're like sticking out because they're like, no, I'm not going to no hairstyle today. But they have to go because we have things to do. So pin them bad boys down. Like you see this one? Hello. You can either stick him in or you can use a pen. I'm going to stick him in because he's not that too much of an attitude today. So this is it from the side and this side so that took all of 